Hello everyone and welcome to today's video, where we will be taking an in-depth look at Stable Diffusion Excel version 1.0, the latest and most powerful release yet of the free and open source AI image generation model, Stable Diffusion. Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 represents a major update that now makes it extremely competitive with other closed proprietary models like Midjourney. So in this video, we'll break down what's new and different, show you how to set it up and highlight some of the key features that really make SDXL stand out. First off, what exactly is Stable Diffusion XL or SDXL? Well, it's the latest iteration of Stable Diffusion, which has become arguably the most popular open source AI for creating images through natural language prompts. Stable Diffusion is completely free to use, even commercially, unlike Midjourney which has certain usage limits unless you pay. SD is also developed publicly by a community of AI researchers and enthusiasts, rather than a private company. Now Excel represents the new extra-large data dataset it was trained on, over 2.3 billion image text pairs compared to Layen 5B's 1.8 billion used for the previous SD 1.5 and they've made lots of under-the-hood tweaks to the training process and model architecture as well. So what does all this translate to for users like us? First off, SDXL can generate images at 1024 into 1024 resolution right off the bat, whereas the original SD 1.5 maxes out at 512 into 512. Being able to produce high-resolution images without needing to upscale is a huge upgrade. It means way more detail and fidelity to your prompts out of the box. Now SDXL isn't just about boosting the output resolution, it also has improved fine-tuning capabilities. Fine-tuning is when you customise the base SD model by training it further on a specific dataset like images in a certain style or of a particular character. This makes the AI better at generating what you want. SDXL has a greater ability to tailor the model to your needs through fine-tuning compared to previous versions. You have more control over the final stylized or customised output we won't get into the fine-tuning process itself in this video, but just know it's easier and more flexible with Excel. Moving on, one more major change with SDXL 1.0 is the requirement for multiple model files. The original SD was a single model. Now there's a base Excel model plus two additional models, the Refiner and LoRa. Let's quickly go over the purpose of each. The base Excel model is the core that handles image generation from your text prompt. This produces the foundation. The Refiner model then takes that initial low-resolution foundation and enhances it by filling in details. Additionally, LoRa adds some finishing touches by tweaking colours, contrast and lighting for improved realism. But essentially, SDXL leverages this multi-model pipeline to achieve significantly better end results. So we can say, that covers some of the key improvements and changes introduced in Stable Diffusion XL, version 1.0, like higher 1024 into 1024 resolution, enhanced fine-tuning capabilities, and multi-model pipeline for better image quality. Now let's continue exploring what else makes SDXL special, and how you can start using it yourself. With the new multi-model capabilities, we've only just scratched the surface of what's possible with SDXL 1.0. There are so many more features to explore and creative directions to pursue. One of the most exciting aspects of this new release is that it's completely uncensored, Unlike competitors like Midjourney that place artistic restrictions on users, SDXL allows for full creative freedom. Now some of you are probably wondering, does this mean SDXL can generate more mature or suggestive content? The answer is yes, absolutely. There are no filters or limitations coded into the models like there are with Midjourney. You can create any style of image you wish without worrying about accounts being banned or outputs being filtered. Of course, I still need to be careful about what I show in this video to avoid strikes. But off-platform, the world is your oyster with Stable Diffusion XL. This creative freedom stems from it being open-source technology, shaped by the community rather than a private company. There are no profit motivations or liability concerns limiting what you can make. Some argue this uncensored capability could be abused by bad actors. But generally, the AI community embraces openness and wants to retain control over this technology not hand it over to be locked down and sanitized by corporations. Right now, Midjourney and its competitors hold the power to dictate what you can and can't express through AI image generation. SDXL shifts that power back to the users and creators. Beyond just the uncensored piece, being open source allows SDXL to be customized and expanded in ways proprietary models simply can't. For example, because the code and models are public, anyone can build new features on top of SDXL, 
something like GPU optimization, a better UI or seamless fine tuning integration. And people are doing this. There's a constantly growing ecosystem of tools and add-ons developed by the community to enhance the core SDXL experience. It's the collective passion and creativity of individual developers and researchers that continue propelling stable diffusion forward. Not top-down control by a single company. At the end of the day, you can think of mid-journey as more of a consumer product, convenient and streamlined but restricted. While SDXL is much more flexible and modular, like a piece of software you can freely modify. Both have their place depending on your needs. But for many, not having to play by someone else's rules is a hugely compelling reason to choose Stable Diffusion XL over the leading closed alternatives. The AI renaissance has the potential to be an incredibly empowering time for individual creativity. SDXL puts some of that power back in our hands. I hope this explanation gives you a better sense of why the open and uncensored nature of this new release makes it such a big deal. There are tons of other features and capabilities left to explore as well, so stay tuned as we continue digging in. Of course, no new software releases without some limitations, and SDXL 1.0 is no exception. While there are many exciting new capabilities, there are also some current restrictions to keep in mind. One key feature that doesn't yet work with the XL models is ControlNet. For those unfamiliar, ControlNet allows you to guide and refine image generation mid-process using a text or image source. So unfortunately, features like controlled image generation and progress tracking don't function properly with SDXL right now, though the devs are likely working on an integration. There are also some best practices around hyperparameter settings that are still being optimized for the new architecture, so you may need to experiment more to dial in your settings. And as with any machine learning model update, there can be unpredictability and quirks that get smoothed out over time. That's just the nature of rapidly evolving AI but the community keeps a pulse on what needs improvement and is constantly releasing patches and tools to expand capabilities. Speaking of the community, that collaborative spirit driving stable diffusion development is a key part of what makes it special. While a closed corporate platform like Midjourney has monetary incentives, SDXL is propelled forward by creators who simply want to share amazing tech. It's this open, decentralized approach to AI research and development that enabled such a powerful free tool to be built in the first place. And that community is nowhere near finished taking stable diffusion to the next level. They have only begun exploring what's possible. So while limitations currently exist, have hope that rapid innovation from brilliant minds will overcome them. The future looks bright for this incredible open source technology. With SDXL 1.0, we've taken a giant leap forward. But in many ways, this is just the beginning. And that's all for today. If you're excited about AI innovations and want to stay updated with the latest trends and insights, subscribe and turn on notifications. Remember, AI is not our enemy, but our ally, ushering us into a future of endless possibilities.